Hey guys, what's up? How are we? My name is Lindy. Welcome to a vlog. I haven't vlogged in like 25 years. Just a few kind souls on my TikTok live the other day were like, you should start vlogging again. And literally that's all it takes for me <laughs> just to have a, an ounce of external validation. I'm like, all right, period, let's do it. So hi, it's Tuesday. Also, I will say when I vlog, it makes me feel like I'm held accountable. It's like having a workout buddy or something. Like I'm like, if I told the vlog I was going to do this certain thing, like I have to do it. You know, I have to complete my tasks because I'm vlogging. So that's the vibe today. It's Tuesday, March 30th, 1045. I've been in bed for the last hour. So, so far, so bad already. It's going to be fine. The most exciting part of today is that at 350, I'm getting my first dose of the vaccine. Oh my God. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. I cannot wait. I'm getting Pfizer. I don't even know if we had an option. I don't really care. I would have taken whatever they could give me. So yesterday I was just checking my email. As I refreshed, a new one came up. The email said that vaccines in my county are now open to everyone and everyone who's 16 years of age and up is eligible. So I immediately signed up. My mom has signed up too. We're both getting it today. Our first dose. I'm excited. I'm not nervous yet about side effects. I don't think it'll be bad from what I've heard from like my friends and people who've gotten it already. The first one especially just like is a little bit of soreness. So and I'm trying to turn over a new leaf in my life and continue vlogging like regularly. So you'll get to see as well when I get my second dose in a few weeks. The other things I have to do today, I need to post a couple TikToks. Um, one of them is sponsored. Make some glasses for Phrase. If you follow me for a while, you'll also be aware and familiar with Phrase. Phrase was the sunglasses business that my friend Liz and I started when we were sophomores in college. And we made custom crazy sunglasses. It was a ton of fun. And lately I just haven't had the capacity to keep Phrase going. So with that being said, after I finish the orders that are in my Phrase to-do list right now, I'm shutting her down momentarily. I don't know if it's gonna be momentarily or not. She might come back, she might not. I'm not sure. I don't. I now have the capacity mentally or physically to do phrase how I want to do phrase or how phrase needs to be done so I'm just gonna stop because it's not good so that's the vibe for today I like to put eye cream on in the morning I also put it on at night but it just feels so good it's like one of my favorite things to do it just feels immaculate and this is the belief moisturizing eye balm I have the travel size right now but I put it on my under eyes and my eyelids and this is where I would Okay, my boyfriend and I went to Chicago over the weekend. All my stuff is in my makeup bag in the bathroom. So let's do a little bathroom jog so I can finish up my little morning freshen. Wait, first of all, what's the temperature outside? Because I'm going to have to walk my dog here in a second. It's 64. Period. I'm just going to wear a sweatshirt and these little pajama shorts. I don't care. Let me put on my dog walking fit first. Okay. My shoes on. Here's my little bathroom check. There's all my stuff from when I was traveling sprawled out. My skincare fridge. We love her. Like, look at the lighting in here. Look at me. Is that shower clean? Yeah. Okay, let's do sunscreen and aquaphor on my lips. I got the CeraVe sunscreen with a uh, sheer tint and I showed it on TikTok and a bunch of people had things to say about it. A lot of people were saying it transfers to your mask and stuff. I haven't tried it yet with a mask because I just wore it around my house. I'm currently using the Dermalogica one, which is so expensive. So I'm not trying to like encourage a sale or anything of that. I got it in PR, so like I really like it. Really like how it feels. It makes me look dewy, but God, so. Aqua four on the lips, you know the vibes. A quaffer. Billy Eilish said that one time. Um, and sometimes I even put aqua four on my cheekbones just to look a little bit glowier, as if I wasn't already completely shiny. Brush my teeth first. I went to the dentist the other day, and they were pretty much, I mean, extreme bullying me over my lack of flossing. So I'll have you know, I've been flossing every single day since I went to the dentist. I miss vlogging. This is fun. Okay, good news is it's healed now. But yesterday I ate lunch outside, and I literally, it's kind of there still. I literally got sunburned. So I'm unbelievably pale. Oh, I forgot to add in the new secret sauce, if you will. I've been putting, don't look at that mess out there. I've been putting my sunscreen on the back of my hands as well. Cause you know how they say that that's like what wrinkles up and really shows your age. First of all, I have really puffy hands to begin with. So like, honestly, I'm not even gonna freaking flex right now, but I'm gonna be in the clear for a while, but. Guys, say hello to Hootie. This is my bubby Hugo. Hugo. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hugo, you ready for a party? Oh, I just love him. Okay, let's go. Okay, homies. Before I start on my phrase orders, we're gonna make some coffee. I thought really long and hard about going to Starbucks or Dunkin', but I'm not going to. I tried to restrain myself <laughs> as much as I can. But sometimes it's just like my only outing, you know what I mean? What is going on here? My hair, I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. Wait, is that tomorrow? Yeah, I'm literally getting my hair done tomorrow. Turn it up. That's what's up. All right, I'm using this coffee. I don't know where you found this. I think we found this at Walmart. Green Mountain brand, um, Island Coconut. I fucking love coconut iced coffee. Coconut iced coffee or lavender. Mm, those are my two little flavors. I've never seen lavender in like a K-cup, but sometimes it like 
specialty coffee shops they have the syrup so island coconut i look so gross i look literally grimy hang on honestly if i had to use one word to describe me right now it would be critter i do look like a critter i'm just gonna put my hair back later and not even give a shit about how i look and just grind okay look at this thing i got from amazon because of um oh my god i don't know her name i'll put it on the screen it's called a what is it called <laughs> hyper chiller it's like a big cup and there's another cup inside of it and then you like put water in between the two cups and freeze it and so it's like this big frozen block you can put like room temperature alcohol or hot coffee in there just like brew it on top and then when you pour it out after like a couple seconds of waiting it's cold so I like to do this because I make hot coffee in my Keurig and I like to drink iced coffee. So then I brew it into the hyper chiller, pour it out. It's cold, doesn't melt my ice, doesn't water down the iced coffee. I'll link it if I can. When I tried to get it, it was sold out for like months. So hopefully it's back. <laughs> I think it was because of the TikTok that I saw, but it's, it really is so good. I use it so often. Um, and then let's see, let's just get a tumbler ready. Iced coffee recipe. Let me sit you down somewhere right here. All right, welcome to my kitchen. Yes, I have a white refrigerator. That's not the point. Here we go. Full miss cup, let's go. Put some ice in here. My dog's gonna love that. He runs over to, when I drop ice, he runs like he's never had a treat in his life. Like it's ice. But okay, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. And look what I just found. One of the uh, big sir breakfast burritos. These are so fire, they're by Sweet Earth. I get these at Walmart. Fire. Now that I know I have one, I might eat it. I thought I had one, but then I lost it. Okay, in my cup of ice, you don't need too much ice since we're using the hyper chiller. Um, at this point I would put, oh no, oh no, we're out of creamer. Oh no, that sucks. In that case, oat milk and vanilla syrup. We're gonna be doing a DIY creamer, if you will. It's not gonna taste anything like a creamer, but we're gonna try our best. You can't see shit. I'm really, first of all, just guess some oat milk. That was kind of a lot. Next of all, some vanilla bean syrup. Just gonna guess, not too much. Oh, that should be enough. My coffee is done, so I'm gonna go get the hyper chiller. Here she is. There's like certain amounts of time that you're supposed to leave it in there for, depending on how much liquid is in there, but I don't, I can't, so I just, well, there you go. I'm gonna rinse this out. Put it back in my freezer. Okay, let's see. Honestly, no, it's actually pretty good. I thought it was not gonna be good. It's actually really good. Oh my God, it's 11, 11. Two hours late there guys look i've been on my freaking grind and now all of a sudden i don't want to quit phrase anymore so everything i said earlier it might have been a lie i'm really not sure maybe i don't want to stop literally i don't know this has been the whole issue for like months now i don't know if i want to stop or not i have to go get some extra phrase boxes out of my trunk of my car and there's like 10 people out here fuck and i'm wearing pajama shorts the whole issue this whole time has just been that i don't know if i want to stop doing glasses or not i thought for sure i was done and then i just made some and i'm like well it's kind of fun I really don't know um i thought i had more boxes back here uh oh uh oh so it appears i actually am out of phrase boxes so this would be a good time for me to really you know do some soul searching on whether or not i want to keep it going because if i do i need to order more boxes but i had these mailers in my car you know i keep them things on me so now i'm about to write out my addresses and go to the post office. Okay, well, I need a Sharpie. So if anyone knows where a Sharpie is, go ahead and let me know down below. <laughs> oh, also guys, time check. It is currently 1.17 and I need to leave for my vaccine appointment at like, at like 3.30. My package is, it's 1.39. And you know what my heart is telling me? My heart is telling me, okay, well, first of all, start the car. But my heart is telling me that I need to go to the post office, drop these off, and then get Taco Bell. The real ones. You guys know, bitch, I love Taco Bell. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite restaurant. I don't care. My lens is smudgy. Hang on. The worst part, though, lately about Taco Bell is that got rid of the nacho fries. Emotional. Second of all, they brought back potatoes. That's a good thing. I love the potato soft tacos. I love Fiesta potatoes. But get this. So they got rid of the black... Well, okay, no they didn't. So the thing is, you can't order the black bean quesadilla at the window anymore, and that's what I love. I don't know what the deal is, but they told me that I can order it on the app. So I've been ordering on the app. The good thing about the app is that you get rewards, and the rewards do be hitting like free soda, free taco, free, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. So that's nice. But I like, my app always glitches when I try to check out and it stresses me out so bad. But anyway, I'm gonna get a black bean quesadilla. I'm gonna order it on the app after I go to the post office. I might get a potato soft taco as well. Can't wait to get my vaccine outfit on, get my arms ready. You guys. See, this is why I'm like, should I even be vlogging? Cause it's just the same shit every single day. Like every single day, almost routinely. 
I end up at the post office. I end up at the Taco Bell, but I don't care. I'm bored and I like to talk, so. Basically just enjoy it. I'm gonna eat my um, potato soft taco on the way home. And this is gonna sound weird. And before I even say it, I will preface it with, I haven't had meat in like two and a half or three years. I don't really know at this point. Something about the potato soft taco tastes like a McChicken from McDonald's to me. Again, I haven't had a McChicken in a long time. I mean, even before I stopped eating meat, I don't even know when the freak the last time I ate a McChicken was. I was probably a literal child, but something about this. Yeah, it has like some type of like spicy sauce on it. Lettuce kind of hits. All right, hang on. Okay, sorry you didn't get to see it because I devoured it on the way home. Oh, you okay? I'm about to go in and eat my quesarito. I like to eat it with Valentina hot sauce. Look at that, wow. If you haven't tried the black bean quesarito, get the app, order it on there. While they had the grilled cheese burritos, I was doing them. Sorry. I was doing the grilled cheese burritos with black beans instead of beef. That was so good too. But this is just better. It's like a tighter wrap, easier, it's cleaner to eat. I love it. Not like health wise. I mean like there's not cheese on the outside of the burrito. After I finish this, we're gonna pick out my vaccination outfit. So, OTD for getting vaccinated. First of all, this top I thrifted one shoulder. I thought that was appropriate. You know, get your arms out. Um, it has these little like cinchy ties on the side and on the sleeve. I believe the brand is called, um, let's see, Energy. E-N-E-R-G-I-E, -E -E, energy. The one shoulder and the cinching and everything. Super in right now, found this last summer. Can't believe it. Rainbow hearts on it, which you might be able to tell. Yep. Marc Jacobs nameplate necklace, chunky gold hoops, bracelets, tie-dye mask, fun bracelets might I add, yellow Zara jeans, my pink Air Force Ones that I got from the kids section. <laughs> I never thought that I could like wear kid size shoes because I wear like an eight and a half. Turns out that the seven youth literally equates to an eight or eight and a half, I can't remember which one, in women. So if you think that your feet are too big to wear kid size shoes, they honestly might not be. Check out Nike size chart because Loki, they be having some pretty big shoes in the kids department. Okay, I'm gonna film a TikTok of this outfit and then go. Yay. Hey guys, long time no chat. It's 5.09. I got my vaccine at about four o'clock. Hey, um, so far so good, no symptoms. Went with my mom as well, she's in the store right now. Um, so far, no issue, it's only been like literally 30 minutes though. And I will say I was really tired before I got the vaccine because I'm about to start my period, so I'll probably be knocked out here in a couple minutes. I'm thinking of um, calling it a night when I get home. Probably can make some popcorn and just get in my bed. Just go ahead and preemptively put myself to sleep. <laughs> I have that hair appointment tomorrow at two. It actually got moved up an hour, so I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully no symptoms. And if I get symptoms, it's okay because I know it's working, you know? I'm eligible for my next shot on or after April 20th, so I'm very excited. Um, I posted on my Instagram story and I was like, hot girl summer loading, and someone replied and was like, shot girl summer. And I'm like, how did I not see that? That's so funny, shot girl summer. Oh, and then we went to Starbucks and got uh, venti mango dragon fruit lemonades because the other day I went in the car in front of me got this and somehow it got messed up and then they gave it to me for free to make a long story short and it was so good. And I love the color of them, literally my favorite color. Today's been so good, accomplishing my tasks, I mean, I haven't replied to any emails. Emails are overflowing. Emails out the ass. Oh, sorry, somebody's getting in the car next to me. Okay, see you guys later. I just realized I never updated you guys. Literally so late now, it's like, what, 1.30? I mean, I've been tired, but nothing, nothing out of the norm. So far, the only like real symptom that I would say is just that my arm is sore, like how it would be with a flu shot. But other than that, been watching TikToks, just took a bath. I take a bath literally every night. <laughs> Doing good. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm getting my hair done and I'm gonna do some more highlights. So we'll see how that goes. And you know what? I am gonna turn my fan on, but I do that every night. It's not like I'm like feverish or something. Also, I ordered the airy rock and ruffle skirt in black as a little treat for myself <laughs> because I wanted the black one originally and I ordered it and then the order ended up getting canceled. And I just saw tonight that they were on sale and back in stock. Follow me on TikTok, you know about this skirt. So I'm picking it up tomorrow because I wanted to order it online to make sure I could get it. And then shipping was $7. So I was like, nar. So I ordered it online, but I'm picking up, picking it up in store. So I'll link it in the description of this if it's still available. Good night. Hello everyone, it's the next morning. First of all, the only issues I've had so far is that my arm is sore. It's actually not even that early anymore. It's like 11.30 now. I'm gonna go grab lunch and then go get my hair done. And also I have a order to pick up at Aerie. I ordered the Rock and Ruffle Midi Skirt. I just told you guys this already. Why am I talking about it again? Here's the look. Ponytails, pigtails you could say. Hat from Mother Trucker. Black tank top is from Bra30 is the brand. They're on Amazon and also they're made by PJ Harlow. You guys might know that I wear PJ Harlow pajamas all the time. <laughs> Airy crossover leggings and my Converse high top platforms. And it's gonna be a little bit chilly, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear a denim jacket over it or that sweater. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday. I literally barely vlogged yesterday, so. I realized I didn't show you guys my hair. 
here she is period i'm such a fan i asked her for a lot of layers which is what i always ask for face framing layers especially curtain bangs just a little trim on those a full head of highlights but for me usually i don't have my highlights start at the root so all of my highlights are just like pieced in randomly so that i don't feel like i need to get them redone too soon except for i did ask for the front pieces to start at the root so that way they're like brighter so it has a toner on it she said it would rinse off over time and get lighter and lighter as well so just good i probably need to take my time on that because look at how pale i am but as i get you know tanner with summer i mean i'm such a big fan of it okay so and oh also i picked up that skirt from Aerie. let me show you guys that and also what i got from zara the other day okay before we even get into the haul i did my makeup with the hair loving it also i got starbucks yesterday didn't drink it all i got iced coffee with three pumps of caramel and soy milk saved it in the fridge boom love it so good let's start with airy they're on sale 25 percent off right now it's the rock and ruffle skirt i got the black one i've been wanting the black one i'm happy i love these skirts i think they're very flattering on me i'm kind of built like a door so like i think when skirts ruffle and like give me a little bit of shape it looks good on me okay this is from last weekend when i was in chicago i went to zara and i got these pants i don't really know what possessed me but i just they were cute okay they're blue drawstring just long and flowy i'm kind of scared because they are kind of thin and also i'm like is this going to be that kind of fabric where like you're going to see all my butt sweat i voiced that concern to jake when we were shopping and he's like there's no way you have that much sweat and i'm like how long have you known me obviously i have that much sweat i don't know okay next up this is so cute i almost was like, i was so close to getting this and then i put it back because i thought it was a skirt and then i found out it's shorts i mean gingham little shorts with the pleats in the front so flowy, so cute, fits like a skirt, but you're not gonna flash anyone. Uh, no, I'm obsessed with this, like fully. This was probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten in a while. And they fit perfectly, I got it in an extra small. Oh, this isn't from Zara, this was just in my bag. This is from Amazon, let me show you guys how it works. It's like a halter, and I kept getting worried because it was so low and kind of loose on me, and then I like remembered, I'm, I'm literally stupid lately and I haven't been like fact checking myself, and I'm like, okay, fact check, it's supposed to fit like this. Okay, look. When it's on, it's supposed to go like, it's supposed to go like that. So it's going to be fine. You'll see that on my TikTok if you follow me on there. Okay, this is another Amazon piece that I just threw in my Zara bag because it was downstairs. I now have this bodysuit in three colors. I have it in black, white, and this brown color because it's really nice and thick. I got these really good nipple covers, which I'm like literally so annoying about, but they're so good. I'll put the brand, I'll link, link them down below, but I love them. I was so nervous. I didn't want to get bad ones that came off or you could see, but the ones I got are great. You can wear them with these bodysuits. These are comfy, stretchy, cute, simple. I struggle with buying basics. Big fan though. And I like don't have anything that color, so. Then, okay, wait. Girl, I got a fruit shirt from Zara. Let me just insert a picture I wore it the other day. It is so cute. The moment I saw that shirt, I knew I had to have it. Oh, and I got some shorts from there too. They're down here, I think. But that fruit shirt, oh my God. I mean, that is, name a cuter shirt. I have not seen one. And then I also saw these shorts and something about them just spoke to me. And they're really nice, very thick, high-waisted. They fit me perfectly. I got these in an extra small as well, like nautical navy blue super thick with the gold buttons i'm obsessed that was so fun i'm so glad we don't have a zara near us because honestly i would spend all my money there and online i'm like not as prone to do such a thing so <laughs> shout out to zara for not being in st louis appreciate it queen 